Going on family, I believe we are now officially live. I'm just getting my coconut water ready. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely incredible Sunday, whatever you're doing. Enjoying your personal journey through this incredible matrix that we call life or simulacrum or video game or reality or whatever you want to call it and enjoying your personal journey and your personal financial journey. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about a bit today amongst a number of other things. We've got Westside Inn already in the house. We've got LCM already in the house. So we're just going to wait a few minutes for some people to join the live stream. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today. Reason being I've got a few things to take care of this afternoon. So I cannot commit to a later stream today. I know it's a little bit sometimes a bit easier for those coming in from um, from America and places like that because it's a little later in the day. So right now for you in the US, it's probably morning time. You're probably just about to embark on your Sunday. So uh, shout out if you're joining me and I do appreciate everyone who takes a little slice of their Sunday to join it here on this live stream. We always have a great time. I always have a great time. It's one of the highlights of my week to reconnect with my brothers and sisters in the crypto and DeFi world and I always have some uh, some some great great fun on these live streams and that's what it's all about so let's give it a few more minutes we've got crypto covert in the house massive shout out to you brother thank you for joining the stream we've got some people joining now so uh, we are gonna just give it a few more minutes we have a special guest with us today so you know things are bullish when Mr. Wookums is in the, the building or in the car, he was just obsessed with me today, just wanted to follow me everywhere. Now I'm gonna try and do this without ruining the stream. I kind of messed up the stream a few weeks ago by trying to show Mr. Wookums on camera. And for some reason, uh, it was stated that perhaps his cuteness kind of was too much for the system to take. And it ended up like pausing the uh, live stream. So let me just try and carefully move the camera without pressing any buttons on the side and just introduce Mr. Wookums to the live stream. He's just chilling out on the heated seats right now. Although it's not actually that cold here in the UK, which makes a change, but he's just enjoying a bit of time with, with his papa and enjoying his little Sunday. So he always gets a few extra treats on a Sunday as well. So let me try and put this carefully back uh, on the holder Again, without totally destroying the stream. There we go. I think that's, I think we're good. So guys, can you just let me know in the comments if you can hear me, if you can see me okay, and everything's running smoothly, because, as you know, I like to keep these streams raw. I don't use StreamYard or any, any other third-party software or anything like that. I like to just hit, hit live on YouTube and chat with some cool people, so lovely. So it sounds, uh, Crypto Cova has just confirmed that everything's good, so I do appreciate that. But we've only been going for three minutes, so I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes, so guys, we're just gonna chill out. Have a think about any questions you might have today, um, whatever they may be, whatever they may be about. As long as it's all above the belt and it's not gonna get my channel banned, I'm fine with it. So. Have a think about anything. We've got a lot to discuss. We have a lot to discuss, and believe me, it's very, very bullish stuff as well. So uh, every seven days, I haven't done a lot. I didn't do a live stream last week because it was Mother's Day here in the UK, and it was Mrs. Millions' first Mother's Day as a mum. So it was very important that we spent a bit of time together and enjoyed the moment. So I obviously couldn't do a live stream last week. So it's been 14 days. But even in the last few days, so much is happening in crypto, so much is happening in DeFi. We've got Drip, we've got DripX, we have StableSwap, we've got SwapX, which I have to talk to you about. There's some big news coming for that. Just so much going on, so much going on. So I'm gonna try and dedicate a little piece of this stream to each of those topics because, you know, I, I do this off the dome. I haven't written any notes, I haven't had time to write notes today. So I should hopefully, be able to get it all in. As you can see, it's quite bright here. Very, very unusual for the UK in recent weeks to be uh, sunny. 
So I'm quite enjoying that. I'm going to take Mr. Wilkins on another walk once we've done with the stream. Okay, so we've got some people joining now. We've got a great number of people joining. And uh, I think we're going to probably get started. And if you miss the beginning, just chill with us for a bit. Watch to the end. And you can always rewind later on. You can always watch the, the bits that you've missed a little later. So um, we've got Roy uh, Linnington in the house. Thank you for joining us, bro. We've got... Uh, Tohi in the house uh, again. I hope you're having an amazing day, brother. And we've got uh, Crypto uh, Cova is excited and, and for good reason. Good reason. We have got some crazy stuff to talk about. So let's get started. And before we get into anything related to uh, Drip or DripX or the Drip ecosystem, I want to drop this in at the very beginning for a strategic pers uh, purpose. So I know a lot of you guys are in StableSwap, one of the best protocols for wealth ever created, in my opinion. There is currently going a promotion of 0.47% uh, per day on your stable coins. Now, that is insane. That's phenomenal. It's like 140, uh, I don't know, 147% a year or something, uh, uh, APR over 10 months. And they're currently running a promotion. So if you guys want to get involved with that, absolutely, you know, check any of my videos, you'll see the link or whatever. But the reason I'm saying that is I'm going to give away some money in this stream today. So if you are on my team, then obviously you're in with a chance of doing it. If you're watching this, of course, this is just for this live stream. If no one wins it, then I'll open it up over, over on Twitter. But if you aren't in stable swap i would suggest you know if you want to be involved in it open an account deposit at least like 50 dollars, and you'll be in with a chance of winning but as long as you do that before the end of the stream because i'm going to do it at the very end so we've got i'm just going to have a quick look through the uh through the comments give me one moment i'm just uh, there's there's some like unusual people unfortunately joining us here which is fine, um, I don't mind that, but um, but it gets a little bit annoying, so I'm just gonna sort of get rid of anyone that's slightly annoying, who isn't here to bring good vibes, because that's what this live stream is all about, after all. We're all here to talk about crypto and not to, uh, not to be silly. So yes, if you're, if you're not in stable swap and you're looking to join, you know, if you want to join my link, obviously do that before the end of the stream and we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. So that's why I wanted to drop that in at the very beginning. But moving on to something that you may have heard a lot of discussion about recently, and that is Swap X. Now, I was just chilling the other day and a little message popped up in my, uh, in my Telegram and it was from BB himself. So he reached out and, and asked if I wanted to be involved in being one of the influencers. I don't like to use that word too much, but one of the YouTubers involved in um, in having a whitelist where people can join through the whitelist. So I currently have 20 slots open. I've already had four people contact me about it and put their name down for an NFT for this Swap X. Now, let me just give you a very quick rundown of what that is. How is this related to Drip in any way? Well, they have already revealed that there is going to be an airdrop for Drip holders. Now, that could be a really, really big deal. I know, like, obviously, if you don't know, BB was one of the original Drip devs. So he's got like an incredible name in the space. He is known for creating bangers. And he is like the lead, the lead on this uh, project. So. It was awesome to hear from him and Lady Mania, so I'm very, very grateful and blessed to have been asked to be one of the, I think there's only 20 people that have been asked to, uh, to or, or been given the opportunity to have a, a whitelist. So I've already had four people take up some space, so I've got 16 spaces left. So Swap X is aiming to be the premier DEX on the OKX exchange. Now, I didn't realize until recently that OKX, I think, has like more traffic than even Coinbase. So it's a pretty big deal. It's like one of the biggest centralized exchanges 
like in existence right now. And people have started posting uh, shots of when they've been watching football, been watching sports, and, and you can actually see them, you know, uh, being advertised around the pitch. And it's, it's not quite high profile. I have no real previous I've heard of them, but I've, I didn't realise they were that big. Apparently, there's like 50 million active users or something. And so SwapEx is aiming to be the premier uh, DEX, the decentralised exchange, like in association with that. So it's how it's going to work is if you own one of the 3,000 NFTs, you will get basically a revenue share from the DEX. Now, this is like ground level stuff. This is getting in at the ground floor. Now, I'm getting involved myself personally. You can get anything from between one and 10 N NFTs. Now, the NFTs aren't cheap per se. They're like 0 0.1, uh, 0.16 BNB if you get them in the private sale on the whitelist. If they go to public, which I very much doubt they will, these are going to probably sell out pretty quick, it's 0.18. 0.18 ETH, sorry, not BNB, 0.16 ETH on the private, 0.18 on public. I personally don't think it's going to make it to public. I think there's way too many people who are going to snap these up. Now, I'm doing this off the top of my head, but it's done in, it's basically done in tiers. So for the first three months, you get like tw a share of 20% of, of the revenue uh, between four and six months I, or uh, yeah, between four and six months, I believe it's 15% of the total revenue. And from seven months on into infinity forever, it's like 10% um, share. So this, depending on what happens, it could be absolutely freaking huge. Like imagine getting into like pancake swap if they had offered something like this. You know, this is normally an institutional level thing. It's not something that people can actually share ownership in, you know, at ground level. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and also everyone that has an NFT is going to be airdropped a random amount of the native token. So there are going to be a number of ways to earn on this platform. You're going to have yield farming. And what's pretty impressive is the yield farm's going to have like an automa autom automated liquidity management. So you're not going to have to constantly go in and change your ratios and stuff like that. It's going to be all done, you know, automatically. It's going to be pretty user friendly from what I can gather. And of course, uh, you know, there's, um, you're also going to have the fee share on top of that because you're going to have an NFT. So I'm pretty damn excited about it. I'm definitely getting involved. And I'm saying to everyone, you know, as with everything, do your own due diligence. But what I am saying is, I've got 16 spaces left in my whitelist. Now, if they fill up, there is a chance that it can be extended to 30. But I don't know if there's any guarantee of that. So it's going to be 20 slots as far as I'm aware right now. And like I said before, I'm very grateful that they've reached out to me um, uh, to offer me the chance to forward this opportunity to you guys. Whether you take it or not, you know, it's entirely up to you. Everyone has their own risk tolerance. But what I am not doing is I'm not uh, uh, discriminating against people that are only going to buy one. Um, because, you know, everyone's got a different budget. So I'm, you know, I'm not buying 10. I, I don't, this, I, my thesis myself, I've got too, too many other things that I'm investing in. But I will be getting probably between one and three myself. But if someone comes in and they say they're going to get one, then absolutely fine. You know, if you come first, I'm just going to be doing it on a first come, first serve thing. You know, because obviously I will get rewarded for people joining that whitelist, but it's, I'm not really that bothered about, about that side of things. I'm just going to offer the opportunity out to you guys. Because I'm getting the opportunity, I'm just going to forward it on to you guys. So... I'm not going to discriminate if you only if you only buy one, not an issue. You know, if you come before, if someone else wants four, but you've already taken the spot, you've you've got the spot. That's just the way it's going to be. If I can open it up again, of course I will do. Um, 
Uh, but we'll just see where that where that comes from. So we don't have any like solid info on the drip airdrop that's going to be coming from this um, swap X. I'm still waiting on the news. I've got a few people that have got their ears to the ground because I've been so caught up with so many other things in real life over the last sort of week or two. But as far as I'm aware, there's been no concrete like info on how that's going to work. But I'm presuming we're probably going to get some info in the next few days because there's only about two weeks left to fill up these slots. So I imagine the info is going to be coming before that. So uh, I'm just thinking if I've covered everything that I can on that so far. Uh, it's all going to be like on the X1 blockchain. So I think you're going to be buying on the Binance Smart Chain with ETH. Again, waiting confirmation. But I did hear Binance Smart Chain was mentioned in terms of actually getting in and then, the, then it will be bridged over to the X1. But we're going to hear more about those little details as we go. So I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on that, of course. But if you are interested in getting on my whitelist, then just send me a telegram, hit me up on telegram, or hit me up in my Twitter DMs or whatever, and I can add you to the whitelist because we still have a few spaces left. So I wanted to forward that opportunity to you guys. And thank you to uh, Lady Mania and for BB for reaching out and offering me the opportunity to offer the whitelist. means a lot, really does. So let me just skip through the comments because I've missed a few here. Um, uh, uh, so Crypto Covert said, things are looking so good in the drip uh, ecosystem and around the community. Um, I absolutely agree with that. And drip is like a, a real sleeper right now because it's doing what a lot of people said it wouldn't do and it has not minted a token for 24 days. I'm just going to repeat that one more time. It, Drip hasn't minted a new token for 24 days. There is a constant 2 to 2.5 million in the vault, and that has been the case for over three weeks now. It's doing exactly what uh, I hoped it would do. The price kind of hit a what seems to be a bottom of like 1.5 cent. It's now up at around two to 2.5 cent. It's holding quite nicely around there. And in my opinion, um, you know, long may this zero minting continue. But one piece of bullish news on a, on a sort of a low cap on a, on a DeFi uh, project like Drip can send it 10x, 20x, 30x very, very quickly. We see from the slightest bit of news how it can go from 1.5 cent up to sort of 9 cent, just like that, literally, you know, overnight. So the slightest bit of news, the slightest thing that comes out that rallies the ecosystem specifically for the drip token is going to be insane. And I know there are people developing for drip right now. I'm in some DAOs, and I know there's some talented people developing for Drip. That's why I've not sold any Drip. Nope, I have been doing a weekly buy-in, especially under two cents. So I'm just continuing with that thesis. It's not a big risk for me to do that, you know? To buy uh, 5,000 Drip is not a big risk for me to do that at those prices. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I've not sold. And with this airdrop or potential airdrop that they've, I'm pretty sure they've confirmed it, they wouldn't have put that out otherwise because that would really, really piss a few people off if they, if they kind of put that out there and didn't do anything. So I'm, I'm pretty certain they're not going to do that. And the fact that BB is a Drip original uh, gangster, then, um, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's coming. So I'm not selling any Drip. I'm waiting, definitely waiting for that airdrop, and I'm, I'm definitely not interested in selling these prices anyway. So, you know, I'll, I'll let you know further down the line. If I... If I'm going to sell, again, it won't be financial advice, but I will tell you uh, when, I'm, when I'm selling, if I'm selling anything, you know, uh, considerable, I'll let you guys know. Um, but that's just going to be purely to, uh, to ROI, purely to ROI. So it's not going to take much for me to really be able to do that. So consider I bought most of my drip sort of uh, under five cents. So we've got uh, Crypto Covert, can't wait for SwapX. I think it's going to be really, really insane. Uh, and he's just put a 
little bit of info in the comments, so I appreciate that. Months one to three is 20% of total swap fees. Months four to six is 15% of total swap fees. Months seven onwards is 10% of total swap fees. So I think I pretty much got that right. I do appreciate um, Crypto Covert putting that in there for me. So for me, for me, this, this is exactly a, a perfect fit for me. I love passive income. Th this past year has been the best year of, of passive income in my life. You know, it, it's, it's been an absolutely life-changing year this year, and we're not even in a bull market yet. So anything that's like revenue share, I'm like all over that. I, fee sharing, stuff like that, like stuff that doesn't rely on Ponsonomics. I'm past the whole Ponsonomics thing. I really am. I'm past all of that. Not interested. So I have, I, I never make any secret of it. I'm like 90% blue chips. I'm like Bitcoin, XRP, Chainlink. You know, and then I have the slightly, slightly more venture capitaly stuff like, you know, the, the V chains and the Zillicas and, and yeah, stuff that's got utility, but it's a little bit more speculative. Um, and then I have my DeFi portfolio. And then on top of that, now I have my stablecoin uh, portfolio with the uh, stable swap, which has just been absolutely printing me money every single freaking day. Like available liquid money that I can just literally go in and take out if I wanted to. Now I'm building my position in that right now, so I'm not like taking loads out, but it's just incredible. And I'm going to be getting onto that more in a little bit. But the the Swapex way it's all set up that really screams to me that's something I'm going to take a punt on. I trust the dev team, very very solid dev team. It's great to have Lady Mania involved. She's super accessible with the messages and stuff. Like she really uh, is brilliant and replying, getting your information over. Nothing's too much trouble for her. So big shout out to Lady Mania. She's been very helpful in keeping me informed on what's uh, how it's all working. And uh, BB has, has got a track record. Really, really, really very, very confident in what he's going to bring with his team. And they have their, high, their sights set very high. So if Swapex gets taken, you know, gets given limelight by OKX, then oh, I don't even know what to say. That could be absolutely incredible. And the fee sharing side of things is right up my street. So I'm doing it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm doing it. Um, Headbuster716 said, I want to buy one. Brother, if, you know, there are 20 YouTubers, influencers, including myself, um, that have white lists. So if you wanted to join mine, of course, I'm going to leave a link. Once we've finished with this live stream, I'm going to leave the, I'm going to go back in into the, the description and add a link that takes you to the Google form. So all you need to do is fill out the form, put my name, Drip Millions, in the drop down, and just message me on Telegram or on Twitter would be the two best places. I will also leave my official Telegram link in the description as well, because a lot of people just prefer doing that. There is a Drip Millions Telegram that's not in use. I was kind of got locked out of it a while ago, and I've never really used it. So uh, that one's kind of a dead account. I can't, it's not a fake, it's not a scammer. It's just, it's just me that, that kind of got locked out of it on a, on a previous phone number. So anyway, nothing I can do about that. I'll put my current one in the description. Um, and uh, Crypto Covert says, sorry for commenting so much. But uh, there's no such thing. You're bringing good vibes to the chat. So comment as much as you like, mate, because uh, it's always good to have cool people in the chat bringing, uh, bringing the vibes, bringing the information. Appreciate you putting in there just as a confirmation how the funds, how, how the fee sharing was going to work for SwapX. So very exciting stuff. I'm going to be doing some more tweets and some more videos on that this coming week because I think it'd be probably best for me to dedicate maybe a walk and talk or maybe dedicate something just chilling on the computer at home where I can bring some like like visuals you know so I can show you exactly how it all works I think that'd probably be the best idea but I did want to use the live stream as the initial point of contact and because uh, I, I have been getting some really good views on the live streams lately you know thousand plus views you know each week which for a 
you know, I still consider a small account, like a small YouTube account, I think it's like 1.7, 1.8 thousand followers, which actually when I say that, that's pretty insane considering, you know, I've not even been doing this really for more than like, probably for 10 months. So a uh, massive shout out to everyone who's supported the channel and helped sort of grow it. I just, I'm just having a lot of fun with the videos and, and hopefully bringing some value to you guys at the same time. So yeah, really, really, uh, really cool stuff. So yeah, there's no such thing as too many uh, comments, brother. But Headbusser, uh, I want to be early in a passive income project for once. <laughs> yeah, I know, mate, I know, that's the thing. Like, it's very easy to find out about this stuff six months down the line when it's kind of not accessible anymore and stuff like that. You know, stuff with fee sharing, I like because it's like on paper, it's something that's just gonna grow. You know, the more people that come onto the decks, the more people have to use the native token that we're all going to get airdropped if we have the NFT. The more people have to use that, like they have to use like the, the Binance Smart Chain uh, um, BNB token, or they have to use the PLS token, or they have to use ETH, they're going to have to use the um, OKX uh, native token. So SwapX have got their own um, token coming out for the decks so very very excited and it's pot luck how much you get airdropped of that as an nft holder so you could get you know you could get an incredible amount you know there's 96 percent of people going to get the lower the lower amount but the top two amounts are very very lucky sort of three to five percent of people are going to get hit with one hell of an airdrop from that so um you know blessings to whoever whoever gets that obviously i hope it's me but if it's not I, I celebrate in other people's uh, success as well. And I did actually do a tweet about that recently, that if you are in a headspace where you are jealous or bitter, that is, you're resonating lack and you're resonating um, poverty and you're, reso you know, you're resonating all the wrong energies. If you're someone who uh, can look at, you know, someone else winning and someone in your circle winning and you can celebrate and you, you, with an honest heart, with an actual honest heart, you can celebrate with them and be happy for them and feel joy in and be inspired by them and their, their success. You're in a very, very, very abundant headspace. And I feel that absolutely 100%. Um, it's been an amazing year for me and it will continue. And the people around me you know, the people that are in front of me in terms of my goals, there's people that are further on, I look to them for inspiration. I'm not there, you know, trying to drag them back. You know, the whole, they call it crabs in a bucket. And um, the reason they call it crabs in a bucket is because um, apparently, I've not actually seen this, is that if you put a load of crabs into a bucket and one starts climbing out, the other crabs reach up and pull it back in and that's very poignant I think and that's how so so many people in our society in our circles are like they just want to pull people back down to their level and it kind of appeases their apathy makes them feel better about themselves if no one else around them is achieving instead of wanting to surround themselves with people who are doing what they want to do or that are ahead of them in this journey taking inspiration, asking questions, collaborating. They just want to drag people back down again. And my personal way of getting around that is to completely disassociate with anyone that I have a intention or a, a, a intuition that, that, that is like that. Now, you know, when you're, when you're on your journey, if it's an honest journey, you, you will lose friends, 100% will lose friends. And it's happened, yeah, it's happened to me. Not in a bad way, not in a negative way or anything like that. But a uh, formerly larger friend circle is, is, is very, very small now. I have a few people that are just ride or die and we celebrate in each other's success. And there's been a lot of it this year to celebrate. And we push each other. And I also find this with my, 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 my friends within the communities, the crypto communities that I'm in, so the crypto collective, the Drip Warriors, shout out to the Drip Warriors and Crypto Collective, two incredible groups of, of, um, of people, 
that are constantly bringing info, bringing vibes, bringing just you know always there to answer questions, always there to, to to you know to get to to help steer you back on path if you need it. So I'm very pleased to be involved in those two groups. So anyone from the Crypto Collective or Drip Warriors that's watching, massive shout out to you guys. Do you know what? Even if I never got another subscriber, even if I never got another view on any of these videos, my YouTube journey and Twitter journey has led me to meeting people in those groups. Uh, and the stable sort community, how could I even forget, begin to forget them guys? The, another incredible community. So like I say, if I never got another view, I never got another like, I never got another comment, it wouldn't matter to me because the, a big part of it is the journey has directed me to meeting a, a, an incredible group of people, um, you know, that hopefully come this next bull market, I will actually get to meet some of you in person. That'd be really cool if we can arrange some meetups. I'd like that. So um, what else do we have here? Uh, We've got Core Steps is in the house. It's great to have you here, brother. It's great to have you here. Um, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, brother. I hit you on Twitter under my real name for the whitelist. Thanks for bringing this. I appreciate you reaching out for, for my whitelist, Core Steps. You know, it means a lot, brother. So I've started compiling the list now. First come, first serve. I don't care whether you buy one NFT or 10, F 10 NFTs. That may be frowned upon. I. <laughs> I don't know, you know, because obviously I know everyone wants to sell as I know they will probably want to sell as many NFTs as possible. But as far as I know, I don't need to, um, you know, discriminate against people getting one or two. As long as look, the only thing I ask, because I'm happy, I'm happy to do this. And and obviously, if they sell out, maybe I can extend it to to ten for people that 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 are like you know, coming in a, a little bit later. I don't like another 10. But all I ask is that if you do put your name down for one, you know, please be serious about actually getting one because obviously it's going to cause me a headache of having to, you know, um, other people are going to miss out on the white spot, whitelist spots. So I'm going to have to remove you from the list and, and it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So, you know, I, I really don't on a personal level care if you get one or 10 because I just think if you're first, you're, you're first. But unless someone contacts us, me in, in, in TG and says you can't do that you have to take the biggest you know numbers first then then obviously yeah maybe I'll have to rethink it but for now you know it's, it's not an issue for me I just want to I, I just want the people that come first to, to be first served uh, so Roy said I, I want one um, I for one will love the ball run yes mate 100% man I mean it's we're in a very very interesting time right now and I've been kind of calling it a little bit for a while that the market is hugely overheated. It's, I mean, look, it's exciting seeing Bitcoin sort of touch a new all-time high before the halving. It kind of puts us in a, a little bit of uncharted territory. But one thing I will say is if it were just to be green candles from here all the way up, you know, to, to 100K plus, we're going to have a very, very short bull market very short like 2021 short everyone's going to be like pants pulled down because it's going to hit and it's, it's going to come down way too fast i would much prefer it to come back down chop around create some trading volume you know around 50k or even below 50k spend a few weeks there spend 30 60 days there you know, allow some, some good trading, uh, you know, volume to come in at those levels, create some strong uh, kind of support levels and then continue back up. Because if it's just red, uh, green candles all the way up, it's going to be a really short bull market. And I think it's going to be real miserable for a lot of people. I think you, you're not going to have the alt season you expect or anything like that. Now, personally, I don't think it's going to be green candles all the way up. I do think, and I've been saying, you know, from March the 11th, I said to people to watch out for some, some turbulence, and we have seen that. From that exact date, we've started seeing some, some red candles. I think Bitcoin's down to sort of um, uh, 66K or something like that today. And the alts are nice and red, you know, so there may be a DCA opportunity. I've, 
I've bought a few bits and pieces. There's a ton of soy going on in the uh, Pulse Chain community right now, where people are kind of all, um, you know, some people are a bit annoyed at, at Richard Hart and so forth. I don't care for any narrative. I, I really don't. I believe in Pulse Chain personally, so I'm just using it as a buying opportunity personally. I don't care for the drama. Not interested at all. And I think the slightest change in sentiment, the slightest bit of news, you know, maybe starts to pump PLS, maybe starts putting those, some of those sack funds and pumps the, the crap out of PLS and everyone's bullish again and everyone's cheering and, you know, and, and if, if PHEX goes to all-time highs, no one's going to care, you know, very few people are going to care. It's all going to be champagne popping everywhere. So I'm seeing some opportunities in Pulse Chain. I'm probably going to buy some more tonight, some uh, Pulse and PL, PLSX, Pulse X. And and a few of the other alts, but I'm not going all in yet because, and you can bookmark this if you want, I really do think between, from, from the, the, the 25th of March, definitely through to the 9th of April, I think there's gonna be a ton of turbulence, I really do, and that could continue into June. So I wanna be prepared for that. I wanna have some bags ready for that if that happens. If it doesn't happen, whatever. You know, I've got some positions that I'm happy with and it's no big deal. I'll try not to get too emotional about it. And I'm seeing a lot of emotion in the space right now, and that tells me that we're due for a shakeout. That's not financial advice, that's just what I'm seeing. So we shall see what happens with that. But I certainly am very excited for the actual bull market. I know we're maybe in the beginnings of one right now, and with Bitcoin exceeding expectations, it's hard to say that we're not. But I don't think that's the end of the turbulence in terms of the downward, but eh, we'll see. But yes, Roy. I am also excited about that, brother. Uh, we've got Molly in the house. Good morning from Vermont, California. Good morning, Molly, and I hope you're having a great day, brother, so far. And I hope it, the sun is shining for you in California. I hope it's shining more than it is here in the UK anyway. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing day ahead. We've got Simon uh, Agard. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Simon. And we've got hello from Denmark. I would like to be on your whitelist. Well, you're more than welcome, brother. If you want to reach out to me on uh, Twitter, if you're following me on Twitter, reach out to me in the DMs there, or hit me up um, on my TG, which I'll leave in the comments. Uh, I'll leave in the description. Yeah, hit me up over there, brother. There's still spaces, so you know if you're down to get involved, I'll put you on the list. Uh, Crypto Covert said, "I've got enough for two, but I might get more if I can save up for the launch." <laughs> Mr. Williams is kicking off. Williams. 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 Stop it. Shh. <laughs> right, so, you know, you know when there's like the word NPC, right? Non-player character. It's a real thing, you know. It's a real thing. I've definitely figured out the last like three years. People with no internal monologue, you know, total uh, like sort of NPC robot types. He, uh, <laughs> some people, there's so much room here to, to park. There's so much room. And a car is parked like, you know, close enough so they have to actually struggle to get out of the car a little bit. And as they've got out of the car, quite close to my car, it's obviously set Mr. Wickham's off. So <laughs> well done, Mr. Wickham's, for protecting me and protecting the car and protecting our viewers, probably um, blew a few speakers for anyone that's watching, but he's a, he's a very, very good do uh, guard dog, head security, 100%. Uh, so we've got um, Crypto Covert, I've got another two, but might get more if I can save for the launch. Yeah, absolutely, brother. I mean, you know, I'm sort of eyeing up sort of t between two and three, most likely for myself. So. I'm, I'm very excited about that. Angie B said, when will the project launch? Well, I believe it's gonna be, well, I know we've got like two weeks to fill the white, the white lists. So that should give us roughly an idea of, of when that's gonna happen. It's not gonna be in the next two weeks, so it's gonna be a little, little bit longer than that. But I will keep you guys updated once I get some solid dates involved. Uh, once, once I hear from the team and, and I know what's going on. But we've got basically two weeks to get the whitelists field 
and that goes for all the other YouTubers that have got the, you know, the other 19 YouTubers that have got the access to the whitelists. Uh, Crypto Covert, he protects you. Yes, he does, brother. If you think he's protective of me, you should see him with Mrs. Millions and Mini Millions. Wow. You know, do not mess with Mr. Wookums when he is in security mode. He may be small, but he is fierce. Uh, Wookums security mode activate. <laughs> Oh, every time the door rings, every time, uh, you know, every time we see someone walk past the house, pretty much all the time, Wookiee's security mode is activated. Molly and thanks. Yes, sun is shining well. I'm glad to hear that, brother. Glad to hear that. You guys probably aren't vitamin D deficient, but the UK, most people probably are. Now, I know like with vitamin D, a lot of people take supplements and stuff like that, but there's a lot of controversy actually about the ingredients used in vitamin um, D supplements. The same stuff. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't want to kind of go off too much on a rabbit down a rabbit hole on this one. But if you look up the ingredient in vitamin D, it's actually also an ingredient they use in rat poison as well. And that's not even a joke. You can actually look, look that up for yourself. <laughs> so you know, I stopped taking vitamin D supplementation um, a couple of years ago, but it, it's all about direct sunlight getting those photons into the eyeballs, which is not always easy in the UK, which is why we spent half of last year in Mexico. And I plan on, we would be out there again, actually. It was meant to be out in Mexico from January through till around sort of May. But there's a few things going on at home, which I'm not going to get into right now. We had to kind of postpone that and it may be, yeah, hopefully the end of the year, but we'll see. We'll see about that, how it all pans out. But. Yeah, definitely missing the Mexican sunshine for sure. Uh, we've got Scott B in the house. I just got into stable swap finally with a thousand dollars. Congratulations, brother! Uh, it's an awesome platform. Let me tell you that. I'm hoping that I'll be thanking myself in five years. The math suggests that I will. Well, one thing I can I can say about stable swap is I've been in since the early bird, the very last day of the early bird. Uh, I got in. Just about got there. One second, guys. I've trained today, so um, I need to stay hydrated. Talking of Mexico, actually, that's where this um, silver ring came from, from a beautiful town called Tesco, which is the, one of the main areas for exporting silver. And it is the most picturesque town you'll ever see. Absolutely amazing. It's about two hours outside of Mexico City. I had an absolutely amazing time there. We bought a ton of silver while we were out there. And uh, yeah, Mrs. Millions, I, I just bought her a ton of silver, like silver earrings, and it's really beautiful stuff, all handmade. And uh, that you can even kind of visit a silver mine and everything if you want to. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful town. Absolutely. I, somewhere I would, I would definitely consider um, moving to 100%. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, yeah, stable swap. Uh, I digress. The maths, indeed. And what I can say, I was in since the last day of the early bird, so I was on 0.54. Uh, the first day I stuck a couple of grand in, and I've been building the position ever since. Now, my position is way, way higher than two grand now, and that's a mixture of me. When the promotions come, like the promotion that's running right now, 0.47, and it's only running until maybe another, I don't know, um, what's the time now, UK? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe another eight hours, then it goes back to 0.35, which is still amazing. But the 0.47 makes a big difference, especially if you're, you're, you're chucking in a gram, especially if you're chucking in two grand or whatever. It makes a really big difference. And the maths has been holding up 100%. And where people kindly join up under my team, I also get like rewarded for that. So really massive shout out to everyone who's, who's supported the, um, uh, the channel that way. And also my, I'm compounding my rewards as well. And if there's a promo, I'll stick another chunk in. So I've got another, probably, an, I'm gonna stick maybe another 500 to another grand in tonight um, before the promo ends, because I'm getting some crazy passive income from there. And it's all like zero Ponsonomics, it's zero volatility. I haven't got to worry about the chart. You know, I mean, like I'm in DripX and the chart's doing incredibly well right now. It's really pumping. I'm going to get onto that in a moment. But I don't have to worry. It's, it's, it's one area of crypto and DeFi that I don't have to worry about. 
I don't have to check the charts. I don't have to look at an exit position. I don't have to, you know, no stress. That's what I like, no stress. I like the roller coaster of DeFi, but I only keep 10% in DeFi. I love the blue chips, but there's still a roller coaster. I mean, you know, Bitcoin could easily take another 30 to 40% dip before going on to, you know, uh, to the higher levels. And you have to be prepared for that. You know, if you don't like it, get the hell out of crypto because you're in the most volatile asset class on the planet. There's no more volatile asset class than crypto. If you can't take it, can't take the heat in the kitchen, get out of the kitchen. But Stable Swap offers a beautiful <laughs> sanctuary of peace. I, I view it as like a meditation room. Like when I go over into the Stable Swap chat, I'm just over there and everyone's chill. Now Danny's over there and, and, and you've got Blue Chip Drip over there and you've got um, uh, Jim Ware and you've got Emmett and you've got LCM, you've got Tony, you've got all the, these really cool people over there just chilling out. You know, every time someone puts in a liquidity provision, doesn't matter if it's $25 or whether it's $25,000, it comes up in there and everyone's like liking it, everyone's enjoying everyone else's success. That resonates with me. That's exactly what resonates with me. And like you said, uh, Scott, it's just mathematics, brother. And the maths is adding up. My position is like much higher, much, much higher than when I started. It's incredible, you know, and from stable swap alone i could sustain myself on stable swap you know even in the uk with my expenses and stuff like that i could still sustain myself you know better than probably a lot of people working sort of 30 hours a week 40 hours a week you know um if you do if you were you know sensible or whatever so i'm just interested in building my position and continuing to build it and it's it's been an absolute blessing it really has. I go on there like once or twice a day if I get time and the numbers are just jumping up and up and up and up all the time. You know, it's, it's an absolutely incredible platform. And the thing is, is that, yeah, it's great that people have joined under my link and I really am very blessed and I appreciate everyone has done that. And the beauty of it is, is that now if you're in Stable Swap, you can, you know, if you start seeing the results, you can give that link to other people and build your own team and start doing the same thing and it really speeds up your progress with really incredible affiliate program they are removing the second and third tier which I don't think is, is a bad thing because they don't want to have any relation to MLM like multi-level marketing and I totally understand that they are just going to keep the 5% of any deposit that comes in under your link and then you get an AFP bonus I believe which is like 10% a day of, of the rewards that your first level get and it's a very very lucrative affiliate program and you could literally build a business around it that's why i call it a business in a box because you can come in just as a liquid liquidity provider you know like a like a mercenary who turns up and like you know self-employed i just provide liquidity for this platform and i get rewarded for it you can leave it at that you know you never have to give anyone your link or anything like that but if you feel passionate enough about it and you've got family or friends or whatever you're like Do you know what you know if they've got a bit of a risk tolerance, because everything in crypto is risk, let's be honest. I mean, even stable coins have an element of risk, but so does fiat, you know? So, so does, you're guaranteed to lose 10% a year, 20% a year in purchasing power if you just hold it in a bank, you know? And there's going to be bank failures in the next couple of months. Mark my words. You know, I haven't got a crystal ball, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some bank failures. Nothing's safe. So unless you are, you know, Stable swap completely outruns inflation. So if you're going to be in dollars, you might as well be earning 100 and, what was it, 170% a year on it, rather than letting it sit in a bank for 0.0001% while they take your money and go and invest in probably dodgy arms deals or, um, or whatever other dodgy stuff they've been proven to invest in. So watch out, Mr. Wilkins is going to bark again. The, the guys that have parked very close to the car are getting back in. Welcome. Shh, shh, shh. You're gonna scare him. <laughs> oh, let's just let, let these guys go. Guys, just take a minute, just to chill for a minute. I'm, Mr. Wickham's is gonna explode in a minute. <laughs> can you hear him? Can you hear him growling? Shh, shh, shh. It's alright. It's alright. Now they're, st they're standing close to the car. Do they not? There's a slight tint on my windows. Maybe they can't see. 
see that there's a, there's, a, there's a very important live stream going on here, guys, which we're interrupting. I don't know what, why they park so close. I really don't. There's so much room. But, um, yeah, it's NPCs for you. Anyway, I'm going to let them do what they're doing. If Wookas barks, he barks. So. Um, yes, so Scott B., I, you know, I, I don't regret getting involved in Stable Swap one bit. I am very, very happy I got involved early and I hope you, you know, I hope you feel the same way on your journey there as well. So uh, a thousand's a nice sort of chunk to get involved in. You're going to start seeing some nice daily rewards from that, that, that will really build up. So awesome work, brother. And you use my link. I do appreciate that, bro. It's an extra bonus for me. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, brother. And I'm going to be doing more regular giveaways with Stable Swap because um, I'm going to hopefully have a little bit more time in the next couple of weeks where I can actually do some stuff like on the computer. I'm so freaking busy at the moment. I'm not going to bore you all with it. Uh, it's all good stuff, all really good stuff, but it's, it's quite challenging right now to sort of uh, maintain everything. So I'm going to be doing some more regular giveaways, but I would like to do a like a random giveaway today, depending on how many of my stable swap fam are involved uh, in this live stream. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to throw it out there like, I'm going to give $50 away just for the sheer hell of it. And to anyone that can guess my favorite number. So um, I'll give you a clue. If you guess it between now and the end of the stream, I'll send you $50. But you have to be in Stable Swap. You have to be on my team in Stable Swap. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think the minimum to get involved is like $25 if you're doing a 300 day uh, provision. So, you know, if you've got $25 on a, or more, then you've got the chance of winning 50. And not only is it $50, but it's also, you know, going to be on the current rate right now, because I'll gift it to you as a liquidity provision. So it should come under the promo rate, which will be like 0.47% a day. So really, I'm going to be gifting you not $50. It's going to be like, um, what's it, 100 and $140 or something by the time that 300 days is up. So if you are on my stable swap team, don't worry if I, it, you know, no, no rush. If no one guesses it here, I will extend it to Twitter and we'll do it from there. But the first person to guess my favorite number between 0 and 50 gets $50. How about that? So chuck it in the comments, guys, if you're on my team. If you're not on my team, don't, don't waste it because I will obviously be checking and for me to send you the money, you have to be in stable swap anyway, so you can't scam it. So don't even try. Uh, so we've got Scott, uh, we've got Mollians. Did you see last night someone put 100k in? While, oh my god, seriously, someone put 100k in. Damn, that's that's okay. That's that's a boss move, man. That's a boss move. 100k. Wow, wow, wow. Whoever's um, affiliate code they used <laughs> the red panty night the red panty night for whoever's code that was you know so uh you know i, I definitely got some pretty cool affiliate rewards last night that's why i want to kind of forward some on to you guys but uh yeah 100k wow wow that's a nice little chunk of change right there nice chunk of change and the beautiful beautiful thing is is that you can have your risk portfolio and you can have your stable swap portfolio you know, where it just ticks over every single day. And as Jim Ware says, another guy who is sometimes on the stream, but I know it's probably not a good time for Jim. He's really good with these spreadsheets and really good at bringing that sort of, um, you know, uh, the, the maths behind Stable Swap. He does some very good content, so definitely check him out on YouTube. But as he said, it's like the talks and the hair with Stable Swap. You can you could put something in a DJ and play and. and and absolutely kill it, you know what I mean? You could actually absolutely kill it. But selling at the top is not as easy as it seems. And everyone thinks they're going to sell at the top. Uh, but it's very rare. So you're going to have to get ready for that roller coaster. You've got to be watching that. You, with a DJ and play, you could drop 99% in a, in a freaking day. So you better be, be ready for that. You can get rich very quickly, but there is also a chance you get absolutely wrecked. Now with stable swap, obviously it's not the case. It's, it's more of a case of do the maths, that's what you're gonna make. All licensed 
regulated. You know, there's a there's a, a big corporation behind it. It's licensed through the bank, central bank of the Philippines. How many projects can you say that about? I don't know any others. It's first of a kind as far as I'm aware. I really do need to do another AMA with Danny. I've been saying this for a few weeks now, and Danny's agreed that he wants to do another one. You know, we always have a great time on stream. But I just haven't had the time to, to be able to give someone a solid date. So as soon as I can, me and Danny will jump on a stream and we'll, we'll thrash it out together. So I really wanted to join the Stable Swap live stream last night. I got in from London very late. Um, I've been dealing with some stuff up there. And very, very late. And I got home and the live stream had just started. I was like, oh man, look, if I jump on now, I'm not going to be in bed till like half two. And I know Milli Millions is going to wake up at sort of three o'clock and it's going to be like, you know, I want to go to the gym today and get all that sort of stuff done. And I thought, if that happens, if I jump on this stream, start getting involved in the chat, you know, all that, I'm not going to get to bed. You know, Danny understands. He gets it. So, because it's always the same for him, because in the Philippines, a beautiful, beautiful country, somewhere that I really, really, I've been talking to Mrs. Millions about heading back there soon. Spent a month out there uh, a few years back. And I'd love to do another month in the Philippines. Go and meet Danny in person. Go and go to the stable sort of office. Go in there for an Alakazul. And uh, so, Danny, if you're watching this on the rerun, shout out to you, brother, for doing everything that you're doing for DeFi. Guys, before I move on to the last section, can you quickly hit the like button? We've had some really good viewers in here today, but just, we're lacking likes, man. We're lacking likes. So can you use the spare hand and just go in and hit the like button? because we're going to be uh, finishing up fairly soon, but there's just one more thing I want to talk about. Um, right, let me just... Molly, yes, yes, indeed, brother. Yeah, big, big moves. Big, big freaking moves. So, in talking of big moves, the Drip X chart is, like, way up right now. Um, I did tell people, like, I'm personally just chilling out. I'm letting all the madness kind of go because people were getting so emotional at the start. And what I was trying to explain is that that first eight days where no one could sell and everyone was just buying miners, that is not the, the real launch. That's like a really cool like hype, hype period where everyone's gonna be, oh my, I've got 100,000% APR coming my way. Uh, it's Red Penny Night, I'm gonna be rich. It's like, look guys, chill, just chill for a bit. You know, It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be good, but just keep, you, keep yourself, you know, don't soy out too much, you know, when it when it on the, when the eighth day comes. But alas, you know, people soyed out and they were trying to, you know, sell DripX, and only a few people probably made any money. The rest of people got wrecked. And so, oh, here we go again. Like, but the fact is, the dev team, Matt and Eric, solid. You know, the tokenomics, solid. So it was just a matter of time before this thing started bouncing back, and it's bouncing back now. You know, I've I've still got a I've got a few on him. I've got a few miners that are still to, yet to expire, and I'm going to buy some new miners once my first sort of BNB comes in. But basically, I could sell the Dripex token right now, and almost ROI. You know, that's how much the token's gone up. You know, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You know, call me crazy. You know, call me mad. But I got in, in that as a risk play with a team that I trusted, uh, still trust. So I'm going to play the freaking game as it was intended. So I'm going to, I'm going to stake all of that for 3,500 3, days. And in the long run, I believe I'm going to make back much, much more than just having a quick cheap thrill and selling the, the drip X and trying to, you know, oh, quickly ROI. Look, I do believe, yes, you should try an ROI. You should, you should try and do that. But I didn't. I didn't go in like major, major heavy. So I'm not, I'm not like panicking. I'm not sweating here, you know, like that meme of that guy who's, you know, the sweat's coming. I'm not sitting there like that guy. I, you know, I've got time with this one. The bull run's not even fully kicked in for altcoins yet, you know. So uh, I'm going to play the game as intended. BNB's bullish, it's showing a lot of signs of strength, you know, so one of the strongest altcoins right now. And the DripX token is now is now pumping, it's booming. The guys are doing a crazy job. They've got Viper over there, and they've you know um, where you can end your stakes and early get access to the DripX token, stake it. You know they're doing some really cool stuff with the buy and burns and stuff. So you know I'm playing the game. 
I'm playing the game. So I think I've got a minor expiring tonight. I'm just going to stick another uh, stake in, 3,500 days, get access to as much of those BNB payouts as possible. That's, that's pretty much it, you know? So shout out to them, guys. Shout out to the DripX community. If you're watching, guys, if you're in uh, DripX uh, and you're still there and you're still playing the game right, salute, salute to you. You know, it's cool that you didn't soy out and, and get wrecked trying to, trying to make uh, Cheetos money on, on the eighth day because that was pretty lame. But, you know, each their own. Again, no judgment, no judgment. Um, right, so it's, we're, com look, we're coming up to an hour. I have a dinner reservation this evening. So I'm going to be cracking on right now. I've got to walk Mr. Wookums first because, of course, no one can forget Mr. Wookums. And uh, he's got his special Sunday lunch lined up as well. So I just want to say, guys, thank you for taking a slice of your Sunday out to share with me, with us on the stream. It does mean a hell of a lot um, that you'll, you'll take your precious time because time is the most precious asset, the most precious currency that we have without a shadow of a doubt. So thank you for spending a bit of that time on the stream today with me and, uh, and the rest of this awesome community. I do hope that you all have an absolutely blessed, incredible, abundant Sunday. Uh, my, uh, my wishes are going out to all of you. Have an amazing day, whatever you're doing. I've got some videos coming up uh, this week. Hopefully I can go a little bit more in depth on some of the stuff we spoke about today. But until then, I will see you all in the next video.